Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a Leicester City 22-23 season. I believe they're at home to Brentford, so I feel like it'll be a good game going forward. So this is my prediction of team going forward. It's goalkeeper, I've gone with Schmeichel in goal. I feel like he's obviously coming up to his end of his contract, so I feel like if Leicester don't want to sell him, I feel like they'll give him for free. So I think like he's got one final year at the club. Right back. I've also gone for 4 2 3 1, guys, by the way. Right back, I've gone with Ricardo Pereira. Yes, there's Castagna, there's Justin um, for the four backs as well, but I feel like Ricardo Pereira and the left back, I feel like that's what they're going to do going forward. And Ricardo Pereira for me, Portuguese right back, really good player. And I think if he stays fit, I feel like he's a really good player for Leicester. Left back, I've gone with Luke Thomas. I feel like he is a good young Leicester Academy boy, like a, like the Ben Shearwell replacement, and I feel like he will bed into that really well. Two centre backs I've gone with is Fafana and Johnny Evans. I think Fafana, they really missed him massively. I feel in terms of his pace and his strength, obviously he got injured against Villarreal in a pre-season game, a really bad injury as well, and he came back um, before and then expected. So I feel like him giving him a full season and injury free. I feel like Fafana with Johnny Evans, the Northern Irish international. I feel like they they form a really good partnership. Two CDMs. I've gone with Indeedy and Sangria. Yes, you're probably thinking, oh, where's Tielemans? I feel like Tielemans will go. I feel like, because they haven't signed anyone as of, as of far of recording. They haven't signed anyone. I feel like they'll sell, sell Tielemans, bring in Sangria as a replacement so they can have a partnership with Ndidi. At Cam, at Cam, I've gone with Kieran Drewsby Hall, another youngster from the Leicester City Academy. Really, a really good player, really good talent as well. What Leicester found did really well at Blackpool and on Luton on loan. I think he will do well going forward, and I feel like he'll be the number ten. Left mid, I've gone with Harvey Barnes. I just think another one again from the Leicester Academy. Really good player. He's been linked with Newcastle for, and Leicester. I have said they want fifty million for him. I personally think he'll stay at Leicester. I think that fifty million was kind of like put put might put Newcastle off. But then again, it is Newcastle. They are the richest team in the world. Right mid, I've gone with James Madison. There is other players I could have gone for. But I feel like Madison, he did start. I believe he started at right mid. Or it could be Drew's before. But I feel like it was Madison who was the right mid against Southampton in the fall and last game. So I feel like he's going to be on the right mid role. At striker, it's going to be the one and only Jamie Vardy. Basically, Miss Leicester's Hall of Best and Legend. Uh, yes, you've got people like Nacho And you've got people like Patson Daka. Uh, Dakar, I feel like he's a bit, you know, he's got the pace, but you give him another season, see what he does. But I think Jamie Vardy, if it was even his age, um, you can rotate with him. Uh, but Vardy, you just can't go, you just can't uh, drop down Vardy, you really can't. And hopefully he stays fit and that he will push Leicester up going forward into the table. So that is my Leicester 22 slash 23 season predict team prediction. Like I say, I might be really wrong on this. Um, I've, like I said to all the Premier League teams I've, well, I'm currently doing um, but, and they might sign some players they might not so please give us a like please subscribe guys and take care peace